let's start talking about the other huge topic in calculus and that's integrals and when you start learning that you start learning about what are called indefinite integrals we'll talk about what definite integrals are later uh, and this is also called anti-differentiation and just by that name you might guess that we are going to do the opposite of taking derivatives so if you took the derivative of for instance x squared the derivative would be 2x and if you took the antiderivative of 2x you would get x squared and that's the whole idea of indefinite integrals and I've written down this formula here and it has a lot to talk about and it might look very confusing but again it's really not once we start doing some examples when you want to do an integral we use this long s so this is the integration symbol and it says integrate whatever's in here and you notice this dx uh, that means a very very small quantity um, when we're talking about this it's basically going to be a notational thing but it is important that it's there so what this says is integrate x to the n in respect to x is kind of how I would think about that and that says we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power if n is not negative 1 otherwise this thing is log absolute value of x if n does equal minus 1 and we're going to talk about why this is later and you also notice there's a plus c and we'll talk about that later too 